All right, so I got a couple of things that I wanted to go through and check. The first being is I had someone in one of the forums ask me with this setup how long I could basically run it with the radio on. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually got my oscilloscope probe on the positive and the ground to the negative on here. And I just have a amp clamp and I'm just reading out the amperage that's coming out of the capacitor bank right now. I still don't have the battery hooked up. I've been running it for almost a, four or five days now. So far I haven't had any problems, but I also haven't left it sit anything longer than basically 12 hours, basically. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start up the car so that I'm working with the capacitors fully charged. And I'm going to see how much amperage the radio uses and how far down it will drag the capacitors for a 10 minutes of leaving the radio on. The capacitors are really, this is where their weak point is, is they do not have nearly as much stored energy as a battery. Uh, that's why eventually I'm going to end up hooking up that small secondary battery. But I thought it would kind of be nice to see um, what kind of useful life these would have if I try to run anything with the car off. So I'm going to reset the oscilloscope first. And start up the car so that they're fully charged. So I now have the radio on and the door buzzer going off. And you can see that it's drawing just a little under 3 amps from the capacitor bank. So we will leave that log for 10 minutes and see what we get. Well, I forgot exactly how far my scope will read in its furthest division, so we're a little bit after five minutes, but we can see that the voltage is steadily dropping. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get it to restart now and I will take a look at how far it actually dropped once I have it on the computer. Okay, so here is the screenshot that was on that oscilloscope um, as the bad, excuse me, as the capacitors were being discharged with the radio on and the door buzzer running. And you can see that right here, the 14.4 volts is the area where it was starting at because it had just fully charged from the alternator. And this BX minus AX is the time in between these two lines, and it's 500 seconds. So a little over eight minutes 
is the length of time that I had the radio running and the door open and this was the discharge of the capacitors and after that 500 seconds we can see that the voltage is down to 10.9 volts which was plenty of power to restart the car still but I probably wouldn't want to left it on a whole lot longer um, once you start getting below that 10 volt mark it does start rolling over really slow so pretty much I would say with just using the capacitors and no small auxiliary battery I've got about seven eight minutes that I'd be comfortable running those kind of um, loads with the motor off hopefully you found this interesting and thanks for watching